everyone, and welcome to D&D 101, the only tutorial series teaching you how to play Dungeons & Dragons in five minutes or less. Today, we're leveling up your sorcerers. This table, seen on page 100 of the Player's Handbook, shows you what stats and skills to improve every time you gain a level. Every time you gain a level, start from the left of the table, improving character attributes as you move towards the right. Each level has a corresponding line that tells you what you gain at that level. And with that, let's get rolling! Every level, you gain one hit die of health, increasing your total HP and your passive healing ability. First, add one to your total hit dice. Typically, this number matches your character level. That means a level 2 sorcerer should have 2d6, where a level 9 sorcerer should have 9d6 total hit dice. Keep track of these as they allow you to heal lost HP during your adventure. Next, roll 1d6, then add your constitution modifier. Increase your hit point maximum by this number. Finally, increase your proficiency bonus when applicable. While this does not happen every level, this will affect several other scores on your character sheet. When you do increase your proficiency, increase your proficient saving throws, skill checks, spell attack, and spell DC accordingly. As you level up, you gain abilities available only to sorcerers. Starting at level 2, you gain sorcery points, which allow you to increase your magical abilities in several ways. Font of Magic, at level 2, uses sorcery points to recover spell slots you've used during your adventure. Meta Magic enables you to modify spells in different fashions. For example, Quicken to Spell enables you to cast spells faster so that you can cast more spells. Subtle Spell enables you to cast more flexibly so that you can cast more spells. Careful Spell enables you to sculpt your spells around allies so they don't take friendly fire. So that you can cast more spells. You only gain these abilities at levels 3, 10, and 17, so choose wisely. Every four levels, you can either increase your base stats or add a feat from the list on page 165 of the player's handbook. If you choose to increase your base stats, you get two points to add. Both can go into one stat, like Constitution or Charisma, or they can be split, one each into two different stats. Feats give your sorcerer unique abilities. Sorcerers tend to benefit from feats like Lucky, which allows you to reroll an attack, ability check, or saving throw, or Magic Initiate, which enables you to cast more spells. Again, see page 165 of the Player's Handbook to choose your feats. Sorceress Origin features are unique abilities you gain based on what origin you picked when creating your character. At level 6, for example, the Draconic Bloodline Origin adds bonus damage to some spells, while the Wild Magic Origin allows you to affect another character's luck. Finally, Sorceress Restoration, at level 20, recovers your sorcery points more often so that you can cast more spells. Last up is the most fun and most complex part of leveling up a sorcerer, picking spells. First, get your spell sheet and update it so that it reflects the accurate number of cantrips and spells known, as well as the number of spell slots you have at each level. The table reflects the total number of spell slots you have, not the number you gain at that level. A level 20 sorcerer does not have 77 first level spell slots. You can only pick spells you have spell slots for. A level 4 sorcerer cannot learn a third level spell. Every time you level up, you can swap out one spell you know for one you don't, so long as you don't exceed the total number of spells known at a time. Refer to Player's Handbook page 209 to see what spells you can learn as a sorcerer, and page 211 to see how each spell works. Several factors, like race or sorceress origin, may give you bonuses to spells with certain types of damage or may open up new avenues of gameplay. Pick spells that fit your specific character traits, like Fireball for a character with a red draconic ancestry, or Polymorph for a particularly large or small sorcerer. And that's it! Once you've increased your hit dice, max HP and proficiency, added your sorcerer's class abilities, and updated your spell sheet, you're ready to continue your adventure. Thanks for watching! Hope this tutorial helped you get your next session rolling. If it did, leave us a comment down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more D&D 101. Roll high, everyone!